G'day YouTubers and welcome back to Nuclearis. I got a bit of an episode in store for you today. We've started a new save in the most up-to-date recent patch. With all the chemicals module installed, we've got random catastrophes, weather consequences. I've got this set to as is, and that's what I've found to be the actual most stable. As well as showing you much, much more because I'm in a new save, day zero, except this time I realized all of a sudden, without changing anything, I had one and a half million royalty points. So I spammed the living crap out of absolutely everything, which I bought everything needed for the other two loops, except for loop one's generator turbine. The game only allows you to get one turbine delivered at once. So I'll need to reorder and get that re-delivered in the next day's delivery schedule for to get for, to get that one installed. But either or, we can get at least Loop 2's loop up and running today. Even though we don't need any of the power, we can just get it filled up, get these lights stop flashing at me and all that sorts of stuff. I got a new transformer. I got two new resistor banks I'm going to be setting up today's episode. Um, not really demanding a lot of power, and I don't think we're going to be having any chance of blowing up one of our resistors that's actually connected right this second. So today, I'm going to get all of that going, as well as ordering something right now. I'm going to get some more boric acid refill, so when the truck gets here, I can show you how that all works. And I'm going to skip the time up to two times speed while this is all happening because I'm pretty sure that delivery will not be here until 029 hours in the morning so a good two hours or so from now so I'm gonna go upstairs we also bought another generator because I'm kind of sick of seeing the old generator being here and just in case we need it we've got extra power so it's all filled up the graphics on this thing absolute absolutely look fantastic as always Fuel's topped up, bought some more oil canisters and all that sorts of stuff. Not too much. I did get some more emergency batteries just here as well, just in case. Uh, didn't get anything for AO or anything like that. He should be actually going ahead and doing another maintenance analysis for us. That would be really good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So while he's doing that, let's run downstairs and see if we can beat him through the elevator. Because he's on two times speed. I'm not. And no, nope. no, nope, he's not coming. All right, anyways, let's go and set up these transformers and the resistor banks from scratch because they only take, or oh, they take two hours less to install everything than it did in previous versions. So before the update came out, everything finished at like 0200 hours. Now it finishes at like 2200 hours. So like four hours previous, which is really, really good. So our transformer here is not connected. No sparky sparky, no worky worky. So let's turn the sparky on. Just like that. That's all connected. We don't need to do any more. We just increased our capacity by 8,500 kilowatts by spending 350,000 royalty points on a new unit instead of over 600,000 to get an extra 10% boost on it. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, just buy another unit. So I did have to buy eight new resistor banks as you start a game with two spare and i want to keep those two spare so i'm going to pick up every single one of these except obviously those two spare that i'm not going to be needing so all of this is in we don't want to touch it because it is on and they are probably going to be a little warm so don't touchy open up the doors come on around here and make sure it is on bypass even if it is turned off upstairs, which it is turned off upstairs at the moment. I don't want any power going through this whatsoever, and I want to make sure of it. From there, with these doors open, let's go and get all of these resistor banks in nice and quickly, all four of them. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll just close those doors. Make sure we turn the bypass back off again, and that's that ready to go. Let's do the exact same thing on this one. Nice and easy. Uh, let's make sure that the bypass is on first, Sharpie. There we go. Even though it's turned off, I just want to make sure. I don't get zappy zapped. You only get one life. You've got to use it sparingly. I do not want to start again. Let's go. One and two. 
Excellent. Now make sure the bypass is turned back off, otherwise you turning the switch on and off upstairs is going to do diddly squat. Now. Oh, good timing. Good timing. And it's nearly almost time for the truck to actually get here. So that's uh, also really good timing there too. So let's just run on upstairs very quickly. And we can get those resistors and transformer on and connect them to everything upstairs. As me just flicking the transformer switch down there does everything you need to do for that one. Except for the resistors. You need to come upstairs and you need to get them actually connected. So I've got two new ones and they should be an extra 5,000 each. So I'll just turn those on. Should go up to 15,000. Fantastic. Each transformer's got 8,500 kilowatts. So that times two is 17,000. Fantastic. Now we won't do as much damage as we are actually generating 8,500 or 8,400 kilowatts right now which is right at the bare minimum of that transformer so that'll actually reduce costs in the future nice and easy so we can actually go downstairs and go to the chemical treatment room and let's get ready for this truck as i'd like to get a better visual on seeing the truck myself instead of using just the surveillance camera that you have the access to upstairs let's just open the door and then make sure it's in automatic opening. Pretty please. Thank you very much. Run, 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 run. I filled up those water tanks and the internal tank, external tank, all that sorts of stuff off camera. So this truck should actually be getting here about now-ish. And I'm going to speed up the time until he does so. There we go. The new contract will arrive shortly. Good to know. Let's check out that maintenance report as I did leave one of the pumps on in the last season, which I did fix up off camera. Core control rods. Yeah, everything's actually going pretty darn well. So let's make sure everything's all set up. Our boric acid, we haven't really used too much of it as it's a new save. It's just what I've really dumped into it to get the plant operational. But this truck will actually give us 100% in this boric acid. And it only cost us 70 5k I think it was for this one um, I don't want to do it in case it screws with something because it's already in transit that's why it's not coming up with the cost so I have to wait for it to actually get here which it should do any second now or at least for you it will I can see it in the distance actually right now yeah the trucks pulling up nice and easy with our boric acid supply excellent let's allow him in by raising the barrier nice and easy Cool. He's going to drive on under here and line up with the pipe. We'll need to drop using this motor here in a second. He'll line up right on that little circle double lackey thingamabob right there. Just like that. Excellent. Before we connect everything up, hey, what are you doing there, dude? We need to open up the sodium boric. Oh, sorry, not, not, not that one. So the boric acid is the brown one, not the white one. Need to get that boric acid open so it will actually fill our tank. And then let's go ahead and connect it with the truck. There we go. And we'll start up this pump. Let's just make sure it's actually got the fuse in it. Oh, I can see through everything there. Wow, okay, it's different. Yeah, there's a pool of water over there. What's over to the right? Anyways, yeah, we have a fuse. That's all good. That might just not be... Such a good kind of visual just there, but let's get on the other side. It won't have any problems. So now that should be filling up our boric acid. Let's just go down here, and what I can do here is go behind the door. There you go. I know that actually does exist, and as soon as the door closes, it um, disappears again. There's a little tip for you if you want to see into space from time to time. And then we'll run downstairs, and our boric acid is completely full. Excellent. So all we need to do is tell the truck that we're finished and we don't want any more. So let's go down here, turn the pump off, disconnect him. Let's turn the pump off and let's disconnect from the truck. Bye truck. Thanks buddy. The barriers are open so we can still leave. Yep, excellent. We'll have to close them up as um, otherwise there'd be no point of having the barriers. Visuals in this game and the reflections and all that sorts of stuff are just so well done. Thanks, dude. We'll see you again soon because we'll probably need to order some 
Sodium hydroxide, most likely, I guess. So let's just close that on off. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice and secure. Ish. Ish. Uh, let's get AO. Go back home. Now. Oh, what are you doing? You gonna open the door for me? No, he just um zooms through the door. Right oh, the door does not exist for him. And since I haven't really used or filtered out too much boric acid from the plant or the internal loop or whatever it is, its column capacity is really rather high. But I'm not too sure if they've actually fixed that to go back to what it should be set to from what its use previous, or if it just resets to 100 upon each quick save or quick load or whatever it may be. But we'll run back upstairs very quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to quickly order some more of that sodium hydroxide. Ah, okay. Quantity greater than zero. And I forgot to close that um, valve down the bottom there, but that should be all okay. I'll do that off camera. I can get these two filled up or at least loop two filled up. So you want to quickly open up all of the B1s. Yeah, B1, we'll get B5 and B6. And that should open up that loop entirely like that. I'll turn all of these valves back off, or those switches back off, after we've filled them up. So let's just go over here, turn loop 2's pump on, and let's get it to about 50. Let's get it to 50, wait for it to go there, and then we'll just turn it off and see how we go. Because we're in 3 times speed, let's just slow it down a little bit. So it doesn't fill up too fast. 25, 28, let's turn that off there and see what it gets to. 33, 34, oh yeah, no, that's way too much. Way, way, way too much. But yeah, if you do that, I can show you how to fix it. Come on over here, DVO2. Mm, DVO2, open this one. So now that'll actually start emptying out some of that. Oh, really fast, but at least now you know how to get that all fixed up and just make sure you close it back up before you start filling it back up again. So, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to help that YouTube algorithm and to tell me you want to see more of this game. But stay sharp till next time, as always. See ya!